My brother is actually, if you, some people might can't see my shirt, but so, my brother's actually Soldier Slim. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. My brother is actually, if you, some people might can't see my shirt, but so, my brother's actually Soldier Slim. Um, I am his little sister. We have a 13 year. Yeah, gap. correct. Yeah, um, my brother was very, very passionate about music. I clearly remember. Um, at the age of four years old, my brother was getting picked up in limousines. Like they wow. was pulling my pulling up and stretch limousines to pick my brother up for shows. And he was only like 14 at that time. Like okay. my brother really been doing it since his teenage years. He was Magnolia Slim at that time. Um, and he just always been passionate. Like he's always been an entrepreneur. Like he would if if he wasn't rapping, then he was cutting hair on the porch. So a lot of people know him off the park with by ice cream because he used to cut hair under that Monica. And um, when he started doing the music, it, it just was like, if you go back and listen to it, even me as an adult now, and I'll go back and listen to like tracks like Powder Bag and tracks like uh, Kicking It For These Dog Ass Hoes. Like, and this was a, a teenager, 14 years old, that was spitting this stuff on these beats that just was like ridiculous. And it was on KL tracks. So a lot of people don't know because they didn't tell them that when they talked about it in the No Limit documentary. Um, but KL was actually the one who bought my brother to Master P. Okay, okay. So KL played a large role in that because at that time, that's when my brother was rapping in his basement, Correct. making music there. So KL really played a big, big role in that whole Soldier Slim sound at that time when he was young and coming up. Now, like I said, my brother ended up getting a track at, um, which one was on here? Uh, I want it. Okay. I want it. You got it. That is a KL track. Yeah. Yeah. I want it. You got it. And it actually, they put it on Down South Hustlers and that's when he blew up. That's when he, um, they bought him, of course, to Master P, and he got the deal in the first album, of course, with Master P, and I believe he did at least two there, and that's when he switched over to Cutthroat Committee, so that's his own label. That's when he wanted to be on his own and wanted to do it for himself. That's when the little real ones came into the yeah. pictures, Chaotix came into the picture, yeah. um, all these people came into the picture, and um, we came into the picture. Mm. OK. OK. And and so because, you know, a lot of people, you know, that was a thing. He was like the Tupac of, of just the New Orleans. The New Orleans area. music, yes. The way he was, you know, they were kept. And it's, it's so much because he's authentic through yeah. it. Yeah. He tells you his story of being from where he's from. Like, you don't even got to be from there. I remember one time, even now, though, it's still relevant. And I think that's what we all strive for as artists, at least. Me as an artist, I want my music to be timeless. Like yeah. my brother has been dead for at least 17 to 18 years. And when you put on tracks like I'll pay for it, yeah. I still feel like she got 150 spin it on me. You gotta pay for it. Me and my friends, we in a club, buy the ball. But those tracks like that, it's still relevant. Love me, love me yeah. now. I mean, come on. I mean, it's still relevant to this day. And even, I mean, my favorite, I, when I was going through things at a job that I had, is soldier life mentality. Soldier life mentality. Because I think we so often deal with it in our everyday life that it's kind of a norm when it really is not. But we deal with racism every day as black people. Yeah. And for him to have captured that at that time, he was way ahead of his time. And yeah. we still dealing with that today. So this is a timeless thing. And I think that's why people love him. I think that's why people idolize him. Yeah, yeah, dope. Did you? What? What's some of the craziest things that have happened when people uh, after he passed away? Some things that you can remember. People, you know, how they approach you when they found out you were Soldier Slim's sister. So even before, <laughs> like, cause even before, like a lot of people think that my brother really, 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 he really blew up worldwide. But even before he died, he was like, he was big stuff in New Orleans. Yeah. So I remember one time he came, I was in the sixth grade. He came, pick me up from school. Okay. And I'm, you know, I'm not thinking no more. They're like, I'm, I'm stayed somewhere too long. I was in the building, I think playing, messing with my friends. And by the time I got outside, y'all, I tell y'all, no, no lie. It had to be every child and their parent was surrounding the car. Now hey. this is in the French quarters. I was going to make down a 15 in the French quarters. 
and they are surrounding the cars. It's them and their parents. They like soldier slim out here, um, signing autographs. They like, girl, I'm like I said, I'm still in the building. They like, girl, girl, come outside, soldier slim outside. He was Magnolia Slim at that time. Magnolia Slim outside signing autographs. And I'm like, wait. Cause I didn't even know my brother was supposed to be coming pick me up anyway. I'm like, that's my brother. What y'all, what y'all mean? By the time I, like I said, I got outside, the whole damn yard has came out and they are surrounding the car. And like I said, I never, we always, we, you know, you, when you're in people's family, you don't really you don't look at them like that. You don't that. look at them like yeah, that. So you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you don't look at them like that. So you like, what is, what y'all doing? <laughs> and, um, but after he died, even after he died, like, we every day like now we have like if we come outside some days they got a whole bus of people and they like hey we on a tour they we've gone to the different soldier slim sites in this part of the tour we like wait part of the tour so because he so used to live like there they yeah, want to come there you know and that's why he died too Mike is coming out, don't slam it down and round, so just we on boss talk one-on-one -on -one.